glad to have you back on here dreams tv where we give you everything you need to know about the still believe family even behind the scenes now in our previous episode we've been covering uh, some of the players who have left uh, dreams fc but moved on to greater heights beyond the shores of ghana and this time around we have one of our very own who grew up with us for a couple of years uh, minimum three years uh, he's been in our camp for quite a while from labadi all the way to spain and Currently, he's making headway into the La Liga proper. His name is Emmanuel Lomoti. You may have heard a lot of news about him buzzing all over from Extremadura to Cordoba to uh, what we're hearing now, Villarreal. So much for the young chap who's uh, adapting fast life in Spain. My guest for today's show is Emmanuel Lomoti. I hope you enjoy this one. Stay with me. When we come back, it should be exciting. <music> Watching Dreams TV, number uno. Don't bother touch it. One. Hello there. Glad to have you back on here, Dreams TV, where we give you everything you need to know about the Still Believe family, even behind the scenes. And if you've been following us on our previous episodes, uh, we've been giving you interviews with some of our players who've moved on from our camp to greater heights uh, beyond the shores of Ghana. The latest is uh, one who grew up with us uh, with a minimum of four years in the still belief camp we have this famous star we give him uh, we hashtag it from Labadi to Spain because his journey has been one that's been marked with a lot of excitement and adventures uh, played for the senior national team uh, B in the Wafu Cup at Cape Coast uh, where they won gold and now he's in Spain adapting to fast life moving from uh, the Segunda B the lower divisions and now He's almost at the top. My guest for today is Manuel Lomote, who plays now for Villarreal. Let's enjoy this one. Glad to have you back on here, Dreams TV, where we give you every single bit you need to know about the Still Believe family, even behind the scenes. Now, if you've been following uh, on our previous episodes, we've been having tete a tetes and chats with our players who have moved on beyond the shores of Ghana uh, to greater heights. Uh, um, Emmanuel Ejesua, Ben Tete, uh, Abdul Babaraman, also in our previous episodes. Today I have with me one who grew up uh, in Labadi, in the capital of Ghana. He's currently in Spain uh, playing for Villarreal. I mean, he's about to play for Villarreal in the La Liga. That's uh, one of the highest he's been to. He's had previous stints in the lower tier of Spanish football. But it will be exciting to find out how his journey has been. Having played for Ghana Team B in the Wafu uh, tournament where they won gold, he was very instrumental in that feat. Uh, Emmanuel Lomote is my guest for today. I hope you enjoy this one. My name is Derek Kweko. Stay with us. When we'll be back, I promise to be exciting. <music> Welcome to Dream Steve. Uh, thank you very much. So let's start off. How is the feeling like coming back home nine months after your first season beyond the shores of Ghana? Yeah, I think I, I feel very excited. I, I'm very happy to be back home after a good season so far. I think I'm very excited to be back home. 
Alright, so even before we talk about how it all started, nine months away from Ghana, uh, playing in Spain, not the, the, the most popular, no one of the most popular leagues uh, in the Spanish uh, division of football. But how would you describe your season? I mean, moving into a territory where it's not uh, even an English speaking country, how did you adapt and all? Actually, I adapted so quickly, although it's not an English country and it's, the, it's very difficult for me to communicate with them but I think I adapted very well with their style of play although I had some challenges at the beginning but at the end of the day everything was okay so I think I'm okay and that's the most important thing now. So. You were part of the junior squad before you were promoted where you managed to uh, help the team to be promoted to the higher level. How did that uh, make you feel as a player? Yeah, as a player I feel very excited being registered for the B team and at the end I was with the first team and one of the most important players at the first team. I feel very excited so I kept my focus and I keep working hard and at the end of the day I was part of the first team and became one of the best players for the first team. Even before you managed to make your way to the senior team, at a point you were playing as a centre back, a position not known to many uh, even during your time in Ghana here. Yeah, playing as a centre back and it's not it's not something new to me actually because in when I was playing for the Black Stars team B was for Cornedo. Like I normally play in the centre back so it was not new to me and I although that's not my best position I tried to Were you surprised? Yeah I was surprised but I, because it's not new to me, I just have to do what the coach wants. So I just go on the field and I do my best. And at the end of the day, everything was okay. And then at a point in time for the senior squad, I noticed you later shifted back to midfield, getting to play the usual uh, role you, you enjoy most. Yes, yes, because the new coach, we had a new coach, and which and likes how I play in central midfield. So and it pushed me back to midfield where I feel very comfortable and I was so happy to be back at that position and I, and I did well and at the end we gained promotion to second half. Now, now, now let's talk about the Spanish game itself, very different uh, from what we know here in our domestic uh, football league. You managed to adapt, they, they, they have a, a, a different style of play altogether and within the space of nine months you already earned a lot of accolades to even move on to the La Liga. What, what, how did you adapt to that particular type of style? Yeah, and I think I adapted very well because and my style of play is not too different from how they play because they, they, are, they are people who don't kick and run, no, they always play which in Spain we call it tiki taka, which almost you pass and move, you pass and move and I think it suits me very well because of the way I play so I adapted so quickly and it was and I was I feel very excited about it. Now how crucial was your beginning at Extremadura to the extent that you have even the fans calling out your name? How did that in a way how did you get so close to them, to the fan base? I think it depends on my, my performance because when I gained promotion for the first time I, I think I did so well to the extent that the fans, all the fans love me. So I think and I'm I'm close and I'm close to the fans especially all the time so I think they love me and, and I love them. It is the one thing that's been a, a major headache for a lot of players who move outside the shores of Ghana when they get to new teams for the very first time. The culture of the new environment, the language, the food, everything involved. For you, how did it start? Where did you even start eating when you got the first? I had difficulties with their language and their culture, their food and everything there. So, and normally in the house that I stay, I have a woman who cooks for me, who cooks these Spanish dishes for me. And I'm not familiar to that, but I, I try to eat just a little bit. The ones I can't, I just have to put it down and just cook my Ghanaian dishes that I can cook. And normally I eat pasta and bread and drinks and those kind of things because I'm not familiar with their food. So I'm very cautious. Uh, and, you, and you might want to give us the, a line of tour for what you picked up, even at the training grounds. 
the, the Spanish language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the more the. the one of the most important things between you and your team, I'm sure, is the communication. Uh, actually, I, I, I learned a whole lot, which is maybe they will be saying in training or in matches, the coach or the players will be like, Wenga, wamo, wenga, wamo, wenga, which means like, come on, come on, let's go, come on, let's go, come on, let's go. So that's the first language I, I learned, and it really helps me. So in dressing in, the, in our local room and those kind of things, you'll be, you'll be hearing me saying, Wenga, wamo, wenga, wamo, and all the coaches and the staffs will be laughing and it's, it was fun. Very nice. Uh, less than a year you've had uh, interest from a lot of uh, senior clubs uh, in Spain. You've had a recent loan move to Villarreal. For you getting that sort of uh, attraction from that uh, top level and knowing that you could just make a break uh, into the La Liga season for you, what does it do to your career, the motivation and all that? Yeah, I think it's, I'm very excited to hear the news about Villarreal and because in, I have dreamt of playing in La Liga actually when I moved to Estremadura like I've dreamt of playing in the La Liga to always meet, had it on your side. always had it on my mind that I want to play in La Liga to meet to play alongside these great players in La Liga so when I heard the news I feel very excited and I'm so happy now about my progress little by little of course it does bring a bit of pressure on you on the expectations because people have high, I mean, they have high hopes. Yeah, actually, it will bring a, a little pressure on me, but I, I need to, I need to keep my focus and just to work hard and just take the pressure out of me. The most important thing is I just have to believe in myself, which I, I do. So I have to, I have to, I have to consume the pressure. So and live up to it. And live, and live up to it. Now you talked about uh, believing in yourself, and that brings me back to. Uh, where it all started, they still believe family. When you were in Spain, uh, did you at all monitor the team? Yeah, actually, when I was in Spain, I was, I was, I was monitoring the team very well. I was, I was watching them all the time, and I think they are doing really, really well, which I'm very happy. If I even ask you how you feel about this current generation, during your time, the team uh, qualified. Uh, I mean, got promotion from the National Division One League. Then you were with the Black Stars B uh, in Cape Coast for the Wafo tournament where you won gold. You missed that moment. And then also, one crucial moment in the history of the club, this young club, was where they won the Galka G tournament, also in your absence because you were away. For you, knowing that the team was doing well, even in your absence, when at a point you were the key player, what was the feeling like? Yeah, actually, although I'm, although like I was one of the best players at Dream FC, and I have to move, and I have to move to the national team, and I think with or without me, the, we have good players there who can who can play very well, and I think they they did very well. They did very well, although the celebration and maybe the, those kind of things. I missed those. Those were moments. I missed, would have I missed loved those moments. Uh, yeah, I would have loved to to be part of it, but. It's just unfortunate, so I'm okay. And when you look at the squad uh, now, uh, before the league uh, ended, what do you make of the, this current squad? Yeah, uh, yeah, I I think this current squad they are doing really, really, really well because I I watched some of their games and I think they played very well. They played as a team. They are very young too, and they played so very well, and they are. They are focused because they know what they want. So I think this current court is is the best. But my generation was the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let me not push it to the But do you see anybody in the squad uh, trying to, to 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 be a replica of yourself? Yeah, I think in, I think this guy Kletos number. I think he's doing really really well, and I think. I'm not there, so I, I think he's the one who is taking care of that number 19. That number, that number 19 so I think I, I wish him all the best and I think he can deliver. All right, let me ask you this. How crucial was uh, your development during your time spent at Dreams FC? Not less than four years at Dreams FC. The managers, especially, you, you, you played under um, CK Akuno, who is an uh, ex captain of the Black Stars, a top coach of that quality. You also played uh, under Abu Karim Zito. How did these people, I mean, affect your, your career as a player? Uh, I, your development? Yeah, actually, in, first of all, I have to thank the two of them because they've really helped me 
they really make me develop very well because I because I think in Ghana they are the best coaches now and they really helped me in my career which I thank them very very well talking about football and those kind of things and I think CK have really helped me a lot and I thank him so much when you look at how they managed you here in Ghana and you moved outside do you think that they were very difficult with you or you enjoyed that level of uh, professionalism and tutelage they gave you before? yeah actually CK and Karim Zito are, are professional coaches I can say in Ghana so it was not new to me when I traveled there because I experienced the it was training. almost the same level it was almost of the same level of professionalism yeah now you you kind of became a popular figure in Ghana uh, especially from the place you grew up, Labadi. You've been back uh, for a couple of days now and I want to know the level of connection and how you've uh, been able to come back to the, the base where it all started and how they, they are believing in you as a symbol of hope. Yeah, actually Labadi, actually if you, if like there is no professional in Labadi now. Currently, Currently in the past because we've had the likes of Lai Kingston, we had uh, Samia J, we've had Antonio Buda, we've Antonio had Buda. Pe people Bipo. who uh, for, uh, for, for decades uh, become the symbol so. at this time of uh, uh, at this time, it looks as if you are the one who, who is carrying that hope for the people in that community, in and around that community. Yeah, I think I'm. Yeah, I think now currently I'm the one, and most of the boys are looking up, are looking forward to me. So I, I don't want to disappoint them, you know, because I know where I'm coming from. There is nothing, so I just have to keep the hope alive and just move on, so that I will be an example of some of the young boys who are coming. Uh, how do you think that shaped you when you grew up? Grew up in a place where there is nothing and you now you got opportunity to play in Europe and so it really helps me, it really motivates me to push more because I, I know I can do it because I... You want the, to the like, lives? Yeah, the likes of Antonio Buda started like the way I started there and now they became great players and so I think I can do it so I just kept my focus and I keep working at it. I know I'll get there. Do you feel that um, you just started uh, uh, your blooming uh, session, but you feel that there's been an improvement in the standard of life, even for you personally and then your, your, your closer family? Yeah, actually, yeah, there's an, there's an improvement. There's a big improvement in my life because I, when I was a kid playing, there's nothing going on. Even if I don't have money for boots, I have to play with my barefoot and those kind of things. But now I can even afford to buy boots and jerseys to play to understand so I think the lives are the life have changed a little bit and, and I'm really happy and how do you uh, hope that in the near future you go back to the roots where it all started to 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 get people who hope to become like you to to, to get up yeah I think uh, I'm an example of some of them so I just have to know how I, I just don't have to know how to to do my thing so that like I'll be an example for them so I just have to work really hard and I know everything will be okay. You were a member of the Black Stars B. That was one of the uh, most iconic moments for you in the national team, Jesse, having won a title. How did that journey uh, begin for you and then how did it feel? Because I remember at a point you even got, you grabbed a goal for the squad and you were very instrumental. Yeah, actually I was very instrumental for the team. Was there a lot of pressure playing for the national team? Because a lot of people are watching you across the nation, across the globe, and you are in the national team, Jesse. Yeah, there is a, li there is a little bit pressure because in, when you are wearing the national team, Jesse, you just have to deliver. So there will be a little pressure on you. The whole country is watching you. Comments, so uh, criticism. Criticism and those kind of things. So you just have to work hard and just live up to expectations. Are you under pressure to soon uh, replicate those performances from the team B to the main squad in the Black Stars. Do you see yourself uh, making that jersey anytime soon? Every every player in Ghana wants to play in the Black Stars senior team so and I wish to play and I know one day I will be I'll be part of the team. So I just have to work hard with my club and I know I'll get a call up to join the Black Stars. Among your playing mates, uh, most of them, uh, Leonardo Wusso, we talk about lost in Berlin. Most of them are no longer uh, in Ghana. They all had uh, the opportunity to go up front. Let me ask you, you look at the squad that is currently uh, the younger ones going up. For you, what is key in making that uh, progress, uh, that step forward? And what do you have to tell the youth? 
I think they can do it because we just started like the way they started. So they, they just have to stay focused, just keep believing and just work hard. And I, I, and I hope with the talent and with the qualities they have, I know they will get there. You're just about to start life in La Liga. That is uh, one of the best leagues, if not the best, uh, uh, in association football. What should Ghanaians expect of you? There are a lot of people who see you as a one who will make the national team, one who will make the nation proud, another representative of uh, Ghana in that, in that league. You've had uh, Salasi Ajay in there before, you have Emmanuel Boatin just making a lot of headways in the previous season. For you, as another representative, a young chap in La Liga, the burden, the feeling, the pressure, the message of hope to everyone. Yeah, I think I, I need all Ghanaians to, to keep praying for me and just to keep supporting me. And, and I know at the end of the day I will deliver because I, I, I believed. I believe I can deliver because although there will be a pressure on me, but I just have to work really hard because if some of my senior players, I can call maybe Thomas Pate and Imondo Barton are playing, I can also play. It all depends on my. It all depends on me. I need to stay focused and just work hard, which I know at the end of the day everything will be okay. Yes, of course. We wish you the best, uh, and we hope that you replicate. Uh, the amazing performances you've had in your uh, beginning days in the La Liga to come. We wish you the best and a big thank you for this interview. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, gracias. <laughs> de nada. Venid de tenet le programa. De nada en Portodo, amigo. Alright, so um, in case you didn't hear any of that, if you are just uh, like uh, the average Ghanaian who has no uh, Portuguese gene. So, thank you very much for uh, having you, Manolo Monte, and glad to have you here. That's what I said, and then he, he also replied, You can Google that for your translation. But it's been another exciting uh, edition of Dreams TV. Uh, Manolo Monte, one who grew up with us at Dreams FC, uh, had all the tutelage to grow up and become such a fine player uh, currently playing in Spain. We hope to see him in the La Liga next season god willing and we hope that he still believes yeah i believe all right see you sometime my name is derek Kreko. until then you stop leaving once you stop dreaming still believe Guys. Damn, you know, number one number one still believe you know what i mean and we keep believing to be part of this agenda, to be part of this history, and I will forever remain loyal to Jim Sessi. We are dreams, football of love. That was saying is the play what position? Ah, number 10, bro. Number 10. Ah, okay. Oh, I want to be saying more than dreams, you know. Okay, that guy. I'm in court. Best of all, that guy. No doubt about it. Ah, we got to do with them with it, man. No doubt about it. Ah, we got to do with them with it. Ah, we got to do with them with it. Ah, we got to do with them with it.